Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. Okay, that should do it about right there. We have for you, first card up, da 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 da, Libyan Gold Tectite Manifestation. So this is a nice way to start. <laughs> You're finally free to move forward. We're out of Mercury Retrograde. You are now maybe a little bit clearer about what you really want. So things that you thought you wanted, everyone's shifting and changing their goals quite a bit now. So, you know, don't beat yourself up if you're letting go of old dreams and, and what have you. And, you know, this could also mean if you've been saying, I want a house, I want a house, I want a house. And then you manifest an apartment and you realize I'm actually way happier in this apartment than I would be in a house. It's that sort of thing. Okay. So you're realizing what it is that you truly want. This could also be a love partner. You know, if you've been trying to go after that one specific person, which I always caution people not to do that, <laughs> right? Leave it up to the universe. To show you what's possible and that's kind of what's going on with this card right here your true path to manifesting is really working with the universe not fighting against it yes which is what we do when we try to clamp down and say no it's going to happen like this right you get into not not that it's going to absolutely fall apart on you but you start to limit your happiness and who wants to do that <laughs> don't do that all right so the next card we have here pink tourmaline forgiveness now this is definitely talking about there we go um, this is definitely talking about i don't want to hang on to this anymore i want to let this go i want to just move on so it's not the kind of forgiveness like oh i forgive you can you just bleh. you know it's like you know what i realize that this isn't worth fighting about there are bigger more important things in this world my connection with you is important let's work on making it healthier whatever the case may be you're finally letting it go because there's just no more room in your space for that. Yes. And if that if something that you're angry about is taking up too much of your time and attention, guess what suffers? This. You can't then manifest the things that you want to manifest. Yes. So it'd be nice kind of release and letting go. And now you have capacity. <laughs> That's the word that they're using right now. You have capacity to bring things into fruition that could truly make you happy. Nice. So then we have Sunstone Empowerment. There's something very empowering about forgiving somebody and moving away from it or, you know, forgiving a situation and getting yourself out of it. Yes. So and Sunstone is actually a very abundant crystal as well. So you are feeling alive. You are feeling the way forward. You are feeling like, you know what? Why did I hang on to that for so long? <laughs> There's a new way that I can express my energy. There's a new way. Um, that I can be on my path kind of in a way. Yeah, new expression, those kinds of things. So don't get kind of hung up on, um, and this kind of came up for Scorpio too, but don't get hung up on how things have always been. You know what I mean? You're there for adventure. Will April be a month of adventure for you? Could be, I mean, that's kind of a free will choice, but <laughs> uh, really what it is, is this internal shift that comes from cleaning house energetically so if you can work on your frequency and let that be a theme of your month that's where you are going to be getting clarity about what you want to bring into the world and then seeing how you can do that okay being an attraction point for it and we have new my healer yeah it goes hand in hand with that uh, the forgiveness card you know you're letting it go and you're like oh, yes <laughs> yes and now i'm just going to float along a little bit when you wake up the next morning after you have done this kind of soul level work, when you wake up the next morning, you're like, oh, fresh start. It is time for me to change course or it's time for me to, you know, not worry about or put my thoughts into that one particular situation, which is what I feel like is coming up for a lot of you. And also there's this message here of not wanting to be tied down and wanting, we said adventure, right? So you're kind of wanting to get out there and 
and see what's on offer, essentially, right? <laughs> so we have that. Let's get your color card and see. Ooh, ooh. So we have chocolate. If I can hold up the card. Uh, nourish your body and soul. The number is 13, redu reduces to four, which is an angelic number. You gotta nourish yourself. You can't get pulled into other people's drama. You can't let people hold you back. You know, if you're like, let's say you literally want to go on, you know, an adventure, you might have somebody going, oh, you can't go there because it's so dangerous or, <laughs> you know, and maybe you're just like going to Paris or something. Maybe you're in America and you're going to Paris. Like, oh, you can't go there. It's like another place. Like, do you even speak the language? Like, what are you going to do? So don't let other people's fears get embedded within you and hold you back. Lean on your own intuition. Do your own amount of healing. This also has a, a big message too. You know, it's such a common thing to say to people, let it go, get over it, grow a thick skin. That is not healthy, okay? I understand why that's being said, but that really diminishes people's feelings. So we need to kind of get into that middle space where we're not victimizing ourselves, but at the same time, not allowing people to say, hey, you're not allowed to think about that. Or, hey, you're not allowed to have a feeling about that. <laughs> not allowed, excuse me. No, that's how you're going to nourish your body and soul. You're getting that energy back into you and you're at full power, empowered. And now you're going to be manifesting something really, really wonderful into your world. So good luck, everybody. I'm sending you so much love and take care.